Another interesting thing about the negative emotions, which a lot of us are carrying via trauma or, um, you know, whatever, is that um, I used to get bronchitis bronchitis all the time. It wasn't unusual, but nine years ago, my oldest brother passed away, which was really devastating. Um, and you know, obviously a very hard time emotionally for me. And about a month after he died, I got bronchitis and it lasted forever. (laughs) Like the longest bout of bronchitis I've ever had. I mean, I was seriously coughing for like six months. I could not kick it. I couldn't get over it. And I later learned that you hold grief in your lungs. So you know, that was just like a negative emotion piece, which can actually cause physical symptoms. And a lot of people don't really put those things together. So it's really just educating people that there are a lot of tools we can use to get our body in a functional state and that, you know, we can thrive. And so, because a lot of people are just surviving. The emotion one is I find some people are totally on board. So yeah, I could totally see how that would affect my health. And then other people are like, no way, you know, no, absolutely no chance. So um, if, if you're okay with it or whatever you're willing to share uh, of the emotions, what do you, what would you recommend to someone that thinks that might be part of their, their health issue or something they're carrying with them? Yeah. Um, lots of things. I actually just had a client call this morning um, with someone who is she was very teary eyed and weepy when we chatted because she has a lot going on emotionally. So, um, I did a little bit of emotion code work with her. So, um, if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's basically just a way of releasing negative emotions in the body. So, um, you know, you can have a, there's actually have my book right here. So there's a book written by Bradley Nelson, So anyone could read this book and, you know, learn how to do this. But um, so, you know, finding a practitioner, things like mind, body, spirit release is another way of having a practitioner help you release negative emotions. Um, I really like that, too, because I did a lot of talk therapy, you know, back in the day. Um, My brother had who passed away had struggled with alcoholism for years, and it was a really you know, some tumultuous years in my family's life. And so, um, I saw a therapist who I loved at the time and then, but sometimes for me, it's like talk therapy only gets me so far. Then I feel like you need to do some like energetic balancing, releasing these negative emotions, releasing trauma. So mind, body, spirit release is great. Emotion code is great. Um, I love EFT tapping. So for those of you who aren't familiar with that, it's just using different like pressure points on your body, your face to, it's really simple. Like, you know, um, you can pick something really specific, like even though I am anxious about whatever, you know, like money, let's say like, even though I'm anxious about my finances, you know, money is abundant, it's all going to be okay. So it's basically, or like, even though I'm stressed about my symptoms, like even though I'm struggling with chronic headaches, like I'm going to figure it out, it's going to be okay. So it's sort of just like a bringing those negative emotions to the surface and then letting them go via and pressure you're tapping points. pressure, okay, pressure and points on like, the face. Yeah, you're tapping while you're doing it. There's tons of YouTube videos on it. It's like a really, um, that one helps me quite a bit because I'm definitely like a, like spiral, you know, and worrying about the future and, um, you know, just kind of keeps you in the present and, and helps you bring, sometimes it feels counterintuitive to like, you know, that whole, like saying the only way out is through, like you have to feel the emotions in order to let them go. So, and a lot of people just push them down (laughs) and that's what can cause a lot of physical symptoms in the body, I think. So there's lots of different, you know, meditation, you know, prayer, if that resonates with people, um, I personally love, love meditation. Um, you just, you know, I love doing yoga, grounding, getting outside and putting my feet on the earth. So all of these things that can help like regulate your nervous system and just, you know, bring those emotions to the forefront, let them, let them go journaling. I've never been one who's big on journaling, but I like to give people, you know, and I, in my practice, I have a business partner, Jill Zavada, and we, um, 
we do, we share a lot of tools with our clients about regulating their nervous system and, and doing some emotional and mindset work. Because if you don't do that, if you don't have that in place, then it's almost like you're, you can take all the supplements in the world and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like you, it has to be a whole, like a whole body solution, like mind, body, spirit, all of it has to come together to really help people heal. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, it's so true and important. And like, I'd heard that before in the past and I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, makes sense. And I'd done a lot of, you know, exploring the, the emotions too, as I became more and more aware, like, Hey, this is, this is probably some kind of issue for me. Like to, to some extent I'd done talk therapy, I'd done more embodiment based practices and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it wasn't the easiest thing for me to get in there, you know? So like I understood the concept, but then to actually, you know, like you said, feel the emotion or just get into my nervous system subconscious. Um, this is like a lot of digging. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is. It's hard work too. Yeah. Yeah. And even with all that, then when I was really sick, I had a practitioner who was really, really big on nervous system. Like that was a big part of what we're doing. And and like I said, I was familiar with the idea. I'm like, okay, well, I've, I've done a lot of a lot of that, but I'm open to doing more. And I ended up doing some neurofeedback and went back home and my reading speed just doubled. Like it was insane. I started f flying through these books. I'm like, I don't even know how slow I was reading. Like, you know, you just get used to symptoms and and whatever, un non-optimal functioning. But I was just cruising through this book. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. And then like six months later, I did another round and then came back home and my energy for the first time in years, like I felt like a normal person, you know, I could do some laundry and work for the day and, and not be collapsing at the end of the day. And when that happened, then it was like, that was like a lightning bolt. I'm like, okay, wow. The, this nervous system, that's like a huge piece because nothing else I experienced moved things that as fast for me as that, like 